What's up, Booktube? It's Mia, and you're watching Select Pages here on YouTube. So, I have a review today, and I just finished reading this book, and I had to immediately get it on film, my reaction to it, because this book has been so hyped for, I don't know how many years, but at least the last two years I've been on Booktube. I've heard nothing but great things about it. It was so hyped. It was so this and some of the best writing in the world. And I finally decided to go pick it up due to one booktuber out here who was like me. They was like, I'm not going to read it. It's a, I think it's just over hype. And then they read it and they loved it. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. And you know what? I hated it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe how much I dislike this book and I wanted to DNF it so bad, but I was determined to finish it. And I'm going to stop keeping you guys in suspense and I'm just going to go ahead and show you. And that book is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Oh my god. I cannot believe I wasted time reading this. I was expecting a tearjerker. I was expecting something that was just going to have me like oh my god this book is so amazing and everybody in the world gotta read it and i just i i just don't know if you haven't heard this book is about a girl and a guy who are dying of cancer they're teenagers they're like 16 and 17 they're dying of cancer and they meet and they're supposed to fall in love and supposed to you know give this greater meaning for life and yada 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 like i said it's all over book two you, you'll get a better some of what this book is about in somebody else's video can we just talk about the characters these characters were so bland so two-dimensional so boring i'm sorry it wasn't even the fact that they had cancer i could not just connect with them on any level any level at all none <laughs> everything that they did was just like a oh my god hurry up oh my god okay you explained this already oh my god what the hell like i'm sorry i just i just didn't like it I didn't like the whole um, chasing after the author guy because she wanted to know the end of the story or how the story ends in the author's point of view, which I think looking back on it now probably could have worked because I mean, I know us as readers, there are some books out there where we're like, oh my God, I wonder if the story continues, what would happen? But that was just crazy stupid to me. And then the author turns out to be some drunken guy who like ex machina here his daughter died of cancer so it's kind of like well i can't explain it because my daughter died of cancer too and i'm just so heartbroken and whatnot and I, it doesn't make no sense and just to put like you know the big disclaimer here i am not judging the book because these characters have cancer i have friends and family members who have both had cancer i got cancer survivors i got people that's you know that is literally dying from cancer and that is not the point of this book even if you take in that aspect out of this book, the book still would have been boring. Still would have been boring. We all know what happens in the end. I didn't even feel sorry for that. It was like a, but you guys didn't do anything. So I can't understand the guys that you, uh, the love that you guys have for each other. That's why I hate insta love. I need, I'd rather read a slow burn for like three to four books and then finally they get together versus just, and then the whole reason of why he was in love with her because he was like I saw you in group and you remind me of my ex-girlfriend who also died of cancer I believe and you know she apparently was I guess the, his, the love of his life and he was like oh yeah well you reminded me of her and then they link up and then you had Isaac I think that was his name the other friend who went blind he had surgery on his eyes and he went blind what was his part in the story he was all like him and Gus was like bros <laughs> apparently and you know they were the one that they go to and they really needed to talk and then you don't hear from nothing from them from like the whole second half of the book until like the funeral i just i didn't get it i didn't get it i actually liked her parents um the fact that you know she always kind of felt like her mom was there smothering her and this that and the third and then come to find out the mom was like well yeah i love you but i'm also preparing myself to move on that's how I interpreted it because she was like she was taking classes 
and you know, oh, what's her face? I don't even remember the main character's name. What was her name? Hazel? I think it was Hazel. Um, you know, she thought her mom was just like there away for her, didn't have a life of her own, and found that her mother was actually in school. And I mean, that was okay, I guess. I don't know, but still, in the sense of like, is that really how it goes down? Do you really like prepare yourself for like one day my child is not going to be here, so I'm just going to go and roll in classes so that I can help become a social worker so that I can help other parents? Uh, you know what? I take it back. I don't believe that. I don't think stuff like that happens until you're like actually in that um, situation. And it makes you want to become a social worker to help other parents, but not before your child dies. I, I'm sorry, I didn't get it. Their whole trip to the Netherlands was like useless. Like, yeah, she she they had sex, but she, they could have did that at his house. I mean, I mean, they had to really go all the way to another country to do that. And you mean to tell me? Well, once again, I'm, I'm speaking now. Now I'm being ignorant because I don't know if those how, how those Make a Wish foundations like really work like that. I don't know. So maybe that part was based on true facts. I don't know. But overall, the book was just and can I say slow? I don't think there was anything in this book that was shocking. That was had me like turning the pages, wanting more and more and more. I was just like I was I skimmed probably the second half of the book because I'm just like I just wanted to be over I just wanted to be done I knew there was a plot twist at the end or there was like a, something that was going to happen at the end and I guess that's him dying I guess I don't know but I, I didn't like it and I'm gonna stop because I'm rambling and I can go on and on and on about stuff I didn't read but the faults in our stars should have been called the fault with this book because there's a lot of faults in it and I just did not like it <laughs> and I'm gonna leave it at there for those of you who stuck around, thank you so much for watching because I'm sorry, I had to get it off my chest. I literally had, I didn't want to wait. So <laughs> until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.